Thank you for purchasing the Raise 3D Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit, Pro 3 Series only. This video will guide you on how to install the Raise 3D Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit, and how to perform the hyperspeed frequency calibration to smoothly perform high-speed printing. The Raise 3D Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit includes 2 Raise 3D Hyperspeed 0.4mm Hot Ends, Pro 3 Series only. 1 Raise 3D Hyperspeed Auto Calibrator 1 Spool of Raise 3D Hyperspeed PLA Filament 1 Spool of Raise 3D Hyperspeed ABS Filament 1 Activation Letter with Upgrade Code Step 1. Activate your printer Let's start by activating your printer first you will get the activation URL and the upgrade code on the activation letter. Log in to the activation website, enter your email address, and click next to enter the activation. Fill in your personal information, including your area, company name, application, etc. Then fill in what your printer model is, its serial number, and upgrade code for verification. Printer models are limited to Pro 3 and Pro 3 Plus, other models are not supported. The upgrade code can only be used for a single printer. If you have two or more Pro 3 series printers, you need to purchase the corresponding number of upgrade kits. You have three verification opportunities. If you have failed three times, you need to wait 5 to 10 minutes before you can try again. After you have verified it successfully, the web page will show the following text and the image of the activated printer will appear. If your printer has been activated successfully, you can now upgrade the printer firmware. You will receive an email containing the firmware download links. Step 2. Upgrade your raised touch firmware. Before upgrading, you must upgrade the motion controller board firmware of your Pro 3 series printer to 1.3.0411, otherwise, the upgrade may fail. Please go to Raise 3D Download Center to download the Motion Controller Board firmware or contact Raise 3D's support team for help. There are currently two firmware upgrade methods, USB Drive Upgrade and Online Upgrade. It is recommended that you use the USB Drive to upgrade. Option 1, USB Drive Upgrade. Open the email containing the download links. Download the firmware and key file and place under the root directory of the USB drive. Insert the USB drive to printer, and power off the printer and then restart it. The printer will automatically run the upgrade program. Option 2, Online Upgrade. Make sure your printer is connected to the internet. Access to Settings, Update, Online Update. Turn on Check for Updates automatically and Download Updates automatically. Once your printer is activated, the printer will download the Raise 3D Hyperspeed Raise Touch firmware and you can click to install it. Power off the printer and restart the printer after the upgrade is finished. Step 3. Hyperspeed Printing Frequency Calibration After the printer restarts, it will enter the Hyperspeed Printing Frequency Calibration Wizard. Hyperspeed Printing Frequency Calibration aims to adjust the frequency of the printer to better perform hyperspeed printing. Before you start, prepare the following tools. 1. Raise 3D Hyperspeed Upgrade Kit. 2. A 0.3mm feeler gauge. First, check if the filaments in the left and right nozzles are unloaded. If the filaments are unloaded, click Already Unloaded. If the filaments are not unloaded, click Start to Unload. The printer will unload the filaments from both left and right extruders. After filaments are unloaded, remove the left extruder. Install the hyperspeed auto calibrator on the left. Attention, if the hyperspeed auto calibrator is not installed properly, you cannot proceed to the next step. After the hyperspeed auto calibrator is installed, click yes, and the printer will automatically start hyperspeed printing frequency calibration. The calibration takes about 12 minutes. Make sure the printer door is closed during calibration. If you have a Pro 3 Plus printer, lock the casters. Once the calibration starts, it cannot be stopped. Do not move the printer or touch any parts. The printer will start the calibration. Vibration and noise are normal during calibration. 
After the calibration is finished, the screen will show calibration succeeded. The frequency value of the current XY axis will be displayed. Click confirm to apply the values and move to the next step. If the calibration fails, please run the calibration again, or contact RAIS 3D support team for help. Next, install the hyperspeed hot ends. The kit contains two hyperspeed hot ends, please install them on the left and right extruders. Then we will continue to the offset calibration. Step 4, run the offset calibration. Make sure you complete the entire calibration process before start your first hyperspeed 3D printing. There are 5 steps in the whole offset calibration, and the whole process takes about 1 hour. Make sure your two hyperspeed hot ends have been successfully installed. Select your nozzle diameter and make sure you select the correct filament template. Currently, only RAISE 3D Hyperspeed PLA and RAISE 3D Premium PLA templates are supported. Prepare the following tools. A 0.3mm feeler gauge. Two spools of RAISE 3D Hyperspeed PLA filament. Since the Hyperspeed upgrade kit only contains one spool of RAISE 3D Hyperspeed PLA filament, you can prepare a piece of RAISE 3D Hyperspeed PLA filament for calibration. The first step is left Z-probe offset. It is designed to set the proper distance between the nozzle and the build plate. Make sure your nozzle and build plate are clean. Put the 0.3mm feeler gauge under the nozzle. Adjust the distance between the nozzle and the build plate according to the instructions. Make sure you can feel some resistance as the feeler gauge passes between the nozzle and build plate. Follow the instruction to load the filament. After the filaments are successfully loaded, the printer will start to print a 9 square calibration model. Wait for the model to print. After the model is printed, compare the model with the example on the screen. Select the first cube that doesn't leak light. The printer will automatically adjust the offset value of the left nozzle. The second step is right Z probe offset. It is designed to ensure the proper distance between the right nozzle and the build plate. The whole procedure is the same as for the left nozzle. Follow the instruction to finish this step. The third step is bed leveling. This step is to calibrate the bed leveling of the build plate. The printer will automatically detect 9 points on the build plate. You can check the calibration result after bed leveling. Next, we will continue to step 4, our nozzle XY offset. This step aims to calibrate the XY offset of the right nozzle so that it can align with the left nozzle. The printer will print two test models. According to the instructions on the screen, select a pair of lines that are completely aligned on the X model and the Y model respectively. As shown in the video, on the X model, the number of a pair of lines that are fully aligned is zero. On the Y model, the number of a pair of lines that are completely aligned is also zero. Input the two offset numbers from last step on the screen. The printer will automatically calibrate the XY offset. The final step is dual color cube. This step aims to validate the XY offset value of the right nozzle by printing a dual color cube. After the model is printed, please compare the printed dual color cube with the samples on the screen. Check whether there is an obvious gap between the cubes. If there is a gap between the color blocks, Please click retry and rerun the fourth and fifth steps to recalibrate the XY offset value. If there is no obvious gap, the five step offset calibration is finished successfully. Your hyperspeed frequency calibration wizard has been completed. You can start your first hyperspeed print. Clicking start to print the sample model. Or you can click skip to jump to the main interface. Step 5. Slice the model on IDEA Maker 4.4.0 Alpha. Your printer has been set up. For better high speed printing, you need to slice the model with IDEA Maker 4.4.0 Alpha, then you can print it in hyperspeed mode on the Pro 3 Series printer. Download IDEA Maker 4.4.0 Alpha from Ray's 3D Download Center. Import the model into IDEA Maker 4.4.0 Alpha and adjust it. 
In Idea Maker 4.4.0 Alpha, there is a built-in hyperspeed mode switch in the Prepare to Slice, Select Templates interface. Turn it on, and you will enter hyperspeed mode. Otherwise, you will be in standard mode. Click Start Slicing to slice the model. Select the printer model, filaments, and template. In hyperspeed mode, only Raise 3D Pro 3 and Pro 3 Plus printers can be selected. Select the filament for both extruders. Currently, we only provide templates for Raise 3D Hyperspeed PLA or ABS and Raise 3D Premium PLA or ABS in the hyperspeed mode. Select the slicing template. Currently, we only provide standard and high quality templates for these two filaments. IdeaMaker will check all parameters related to speed, acceleration and volumetric flow rate. As long as a parameter value in the template reaches the L1 or L2 standard, after the template is saved, an L1 or L2 tag will be added to the template. Please see the table for the labeling standards. After adjusting the parameters, click Slice to slice the model. After slicing, you can preview the model, save the file locally and import it to the printer. Step 6. Start printing. Make sure the filaments are properly loaded into the Pro 3 series printer. To achieve the best printing result, it is recommended that you use Raise 3D hyperspeed filaments. Import the model to the printer. Click Print, USB device to select a model. You can start your first hyperspeed printing now. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you have a good hyperspeed printing experience. For additional inquiries or technical questions, please visit Raise3D's official website, or email inquiry at raise3d.com.